Toyota. And we are underway, 96. Better and better. Merrifield has a 12-game... Decent, however, not up to his, sta his standards. We'll take a look at the key. Triple and a home run, and Salvi Perez, 3 for 10. And he struck him out. Foul tip on a heat in every game for their team this season. The Royals have, have three of those guys. Emian with the Blue Jays. Really I, unusual to see him top three in the batting order. Number 412 tonight for Merrifield. And he went. They appealed Quinn Walcott. Big pull shift against the switch batter, and he takes inside. Two balls and two strike. And it's a little low, according to Hunter. Dylan is fourth in the major leagues in that, and that's tough to do. Inside, he walked him, Santana. Five, so yeah, you've got to have great stuff. Otherwise, you try to get him out, out of the zone. That gets passed all the way to the backstop, and Santana's now at second. Out. Two big home runs for Perez last week against the Sox in Kansas City. There's a high strike. It's, it's 10 years of service time and five years with your current team. So if it's an all-star for the seventh time, and he swings and misses. There's that end zone. Cease, Giolito, and Lynn. All on the Sox staff. Cease at 29.5. And that causes high pitch counts and leaving games early. He gets under one. Tim backing up into the outfield grass. And yeah, we talked about that. Major leagues. League average of 27%. Curve missed wide on here with Kansas City. Came over in a trade in February. One and one. No one one. And a 2-2 two, two count, two count with gorgeous night for baseball. Full count. count. Now you could be. And he got him. And a foul tip. Andrew. And Roy Hartsfield, the uh, Blue Jays skipper, skipper. And Tony thinks it was a little purposeful clubhouse speech. You guys, uh, we had a good club. Go out, go out play hard. We're going to be good. I was faced with a very was a pretty good singer. Uh, and he later fan. he hit a he hit a leadoff home run that night. And the White Sox won the game eight to five. And when I was here in 1978, he had come to the major leagues. Dozier strikes out number three early on for Cease. So then you undoubtedly will win a lot of games. So that was early, early Tony LaRusa, and it gives him a lot of the same things. Maybe a Tad bit easier. Maybe we should. The back end of the bullpen is going to be shut down. 3 0 start. He comes at 3 0. And O'Hearn went out after it and fouled it off. Golf down the left, left field line. That's twisting and it's going to land just foul. Not by. And Tony made his managerial debut. First to 3 2. Got him swinging. Wow. Scott McGregor was really good. Popped up on the bun attempt. The bun attempt. And Moncada makes the grab. And that'll do it. He at their best in the stretch drive and hopefully deep into October. Realigning your pitching staff if you win by enough games. The third inning. Got to the big leagues with San Diego last year and was traded to Kansas City. Fifth, fifth time he's been with. Waits on a 1 2. And out in the shallow center, and that's going to drop in front of Engel. But that's what, that's what the revolutions can do for him.
Here's Nicky Lopez. He will play everywhere. Merrifield will fail. He got traded to the Dodgers. Two, two and one on Lopez. Feel better. 2-2 two, two on Lopez. Maybe a few steps out there in center to try to take away a blooper. Swinging on this. There will, there will be no blooper in this. Fouled by Merrifield. One strike, one out, one on. Slider off the out there, a contender here in the next couple of years. Runner takes off. Merrifield fouls. Little choke up on the bat, and another foul out of play, and you know, date one of those years. Runner goes again. That's in the dirt. It'll be a stolen base. So, in other words, they feel confident generally in the group they have. And then throw in the same motion, but it wasn't to be. Another foul. You see Merrifield really taking a couple of looks at the runner. And yet another foul. And he went around. And he's going to make it. So Merrifield strikes out. Not running on the first one. And it's a strike on a group against just 68 strikeout. strikeouts. There goes Merrifield. And a chop to first. Fair ball. Throw to the plate. Out. For Santana. First and second, and way high for Cease, including the, the Merrifield reach on the pass ball. And sliding. Well, that after ball three. Three and one. Way up in the air to left. Perez kind of shaking his head. He just missed one. He straightens that out. It goes like, like this jersey. Back to you, Lennon, Steve. <laughs> I love it. And those were untucked. They were untucked. Clam diggers. Come, they, they hit you around mid, mid calf. <laughs> uh, it was a good luck. Jersey number he wore in that game add his career hit total. Right. It's a tricky question. Mm -hmm. Pop down the right field line. Long run for Leori. And he just kicked Twitter at NBC. White Sox. Competition is fierce. And he hit 333 in that series. And then he draw he draws a walk. I believe uh, if I'm doing it right, this is uh, Dozier's first game here since the collision. Well, I recall he was going through a long offer, and I think when he popped it up, it, he was upset. He went, and that's strike three. Foul back. Tonight. <laughs> I mean, really get into show business. Sure, deep. I'll do it. Okay. I got it. Yep, yep, yep. Even more now with two strikes. Smothered by Seve. A little kick, but no problem. Dylan wanted a fastball. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Safe at second. And a game ending hit in extras last week against the Sox. And he takes a curve low. One and one. Good slider, slider. Couldn't get him to bite on the.
Reynaldo Lopez followed up with three, then Bummer, Kimbrell, and Hendricks finished off. The payoff. Chopped to third. It's just third. It's just foul. Baseball at home. High deep, deep drive. Engel tracking. And he's got it. Strikeouts through four. And he was throwing 98 99 in the first day. If this were a fast inning, he would be a very happy, he would be a very happy young man. The fifth inning is. High in the air to left, back on it, Vaughn. Just a quick glance back, and he's got enough room to make the catch. We're going to take you to Wrigley Field also. All right. Yep, we will be inside Wrigley Field. 1 0 on Lopez. Moncada's got it. Two down. Looking for a quick one, two, three, and the best way to get it would be without a strikeout. And you can control the Royal offense, especially now that they've traded Jorge Soler. I mean, that's you take one of their hitters count two and zero. Oh. All right, Stoney, manage here with me if you're a Tony and you're, or are you thinking, nope, I got a fresh bullpen. Just get me five, and I'm good to go. I believe this is going to be his last. To take a look at the innings over the last couple of years and realize that these guys are in uncharted ter territory. So we'll find out the answer to that. Tony LaRusso is going to go with Dylan Cease. 92nd pitch of the night. And a I'm through, and sometimes that's problematic. A sixth inning. 0 oh, 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. This, I mean, he's gathering every at bat, every inning, every game, and looking better and better, better and better. I mean, there is no doubt that. Although he was good his last time out at Kansas City, trying to win his first August start left against the right-handed batter. Fouled it off himself. Strike five times he's hit. Ten strikeouts or more. Slider B in 86. I'm assuming it was at the dome. It was at the dome, right? Metro Dome. What was ball player? But he became one anyway. You probably saw the movie. I Tre did the treasure of Sierra's Madre. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's exactly how that way. And let's hope this one can end it. And he's got 11. He just struck it.